So this is the fun of a YouTube video show. Bloody hell, we're supposed to be in the middle of summer checking out the hive and it's pissing down rain. Not just, it's big old fat rain like Forrest Gump would say. It's not just mucking about rain. Golly. I don't know, I think this is the arse end of a cyclone or something, but anyway. At least there's no hailstones, we don't want any of them. So, apologies if the episodes are slightly short, but you know, due to constraints of filming, I mean, hell, we're not, we're not going to run around in the rain and the ladies don't want us ripping their leads off in the rain, so anyway, we'll find something to do, but... Ah! <laughs> thinking about when we were just watching the making of Jaws and um, they were out on the sea trying to film that movie and I'm looking out at this weather thinking I know a little bit how he feels you know we're trying to get this shit together we've had a plan of what we were going to do the next couple of days and it just won't stop raining so it's kind of apt though I suppose I'm drinking out of my coffee cup that says could be good could be shit we're not really sure but I reckon just right now the weather's shit <laughs> so ah. We might have to have a review, but I'm not really sure what we're reviewing. The lad doesn't reckon he wants to help sweep the shit out, so I don't know. I thought that would have been a good project. Not have made very film worthy, but it could have been a good idea. <laughs> anyway, here we sit and we ponder the possibilities of life. You know? Should we let our hair grow long? Should we cut it short? Should we trim our eyebrows? Or the nose hairs. Now, nose hairs is something that you should trim because they can be most awkward at my age and they look rather uncomfortable sticking in all directions. My lovely hairdressing daughter decides that she's going to trim my nose hairs for me, which is kind of gorgeous because she wants me to look half reasonable. But, you know, she's got her work cut out for her and making me look good. But anyway, between me filming lad and me hairdressing daughter and me loving wife, everybody's looking after me. So I've got a chance that maybe I'll make it through. Anyway, the rain's nearly stopping, so we're thinking perhaps maybe we'll go out and get mud on our boots. Although here in the Riverland you don't get mud on your boots, you just get a bit of grub in the house and get told off if you don't take your boots off. But it's sort of not real muddy, but it gets stuck to you, a bit sandy-like. Anyway, I don't know. The other interesting thing is, of course, when it rains, all the nectar gets washed out of the flowers. So that's a bit bloody shit, considering we haven't actually had a very good run anyway. But then again, I say it's negative all round, I suppose, in some respects. But then again, in a week or two, hopefully we get a bit of a flush in the trees from the rain. And um, I think most of the boys are finished with their grain harvest, which is good. And, but uh, anyway, next week will be weed spraying now. So there we go. The jobs are piling up. Apparently we're going to give you a little bit of time warp. Not the song, because, you know, apparently that's copyright. So we're not allowed to sing songs, you know. Ooh, what was that? I can't even remember how it went anyway. I'm sure you remember how the Time Warp song went, but I'm not allowed to talk about it or sing it, even though my singing is rather crap. But anyway, we're going to go back and we're going to show you what the scrub looked like before the rain, and hopefully the rain has been a positive thing and we might be able to put some ladies down there and get some more white mallee honey. But who knows? We will see how much more rain we get. Well, folks, spring has sprung, apparently. We're, what, three days into spring? It's been a bloody dry winter here in the Riverland, so... Anyway, we're just out for a bit of a cruise to see if there's any flowers up and running. So the ladies have finished the almond blossom. Actually, we might take you out and show you the almond blossom. That's not almond blossom anymore. Anyway, so we thought we'd go for a bit of a drive around and see if we can find somewhere for them to go next. We're... So anyway, come along. This is the blossom hunt. A general routine. Anybody out there that's got some blossom sort of around in South Australia that might want to drop me a line? I was talking to someone the other day, they were sort of asking me about beekeeping and you know they get the idea that you can just pop a box or 20 boxes or well one box in your backyard's fine but you get a couple hundred of the full things. They need to move around a bit or they need to have enough food to eat and I was trying to liken it to the fact that it's a bit like if you have stock in a paddock you've got to have enough food for the stock to eat and the girls are the same they you know being that they're an insect obviously they're slightly different but they still need food they need nectar and pollen to survive through the year so if you happen to have some nectar and pollen laying around that you'd like to turn into honey and get some free honey nah that's a stupid joke
joke, isn't it? Anyway, it's not a stupid joke. If you want to get some free honey, give give me a call. That would be cool. That would be cool. No, that'd be cool. That was out of a terrible pitch. It was a terrible pitch. Yeah, typical, isn't it? See how the this plant's developed to use flies instead of bees? So very clever plants, see these plants, which is a, no much bloody good to us because we don't want blowfly plants, but well that's a pisser, isn't it? So this, this native here has decided that it can use blowfly, so it's obviously got a bit more of a bad smell rather than a sweet smell. But it smells all right, so I don't know what the hell, why the blowflies are attracted to this, but anyway, it's not much good as a bee, bee plant if the bloody blowflies are on it, because that's another whole mess again. But at least it's, that's how they use it. They're using flies to pollinate rather than bees. Which is some bloke was trying to tell me about bloody using flies on the almonds, but I don't know how it was going to work. Hmm. That smells pretty. That's just rather weird, almost like rosemary. Look at that. Got a little posy. Reckon we should pick a few of them and take them home to mum. We're going to give her some flowers. <laughs> All right, so these are little native daisies. Who knows? Who knows anything, but I know not very much. All I know is it's bloody late in the year. Because normally there are lots of wildflowers down here, but nothing's really happened because we didn't get a rain until about, I don't know, a month ago. But a little bit of stuff's coming up, so I don't know. We might bring a few boxes down here and then check what the girls do. The lad will be buggered off and I'll have to move him myself then if, we, <laughs> if it comes to that. But anyway, we'll drive around a bit more and see what we can find. What do you reckon? Shall we pick mum, pick mum some flowers and take her home some in the bars? She could, she could pop them in the bars. What do you reckon? Arr! Do you reckon I'd get away with that? Say, sorry, darling, I've borrowed your screwdriver set yet again. S O S, can someone help me? Do -do 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 -do. What did you say? Uh -huh. I just said that I never have got around to grading this track, have I? It would be a bad idea if you're if you're wondering why the footage is just a little bit bouncy. The cameraman isn't doing jumping jacks when you're just running over a bit of rough country here. So I'm being critiqued on my grading abilities, which haven't happened. I think fired from road building. <laughs> You know it's wet when the little birds are actually having a bath in the puddles. That's usually a bad sign for uh, any other activity. If it wasn't for the fact that we're dedicated YouTubers, a bloke would probably crack a port and forget about the rest of the day, but that's not going to happen because we've got some things to do and people to meet and bees to move. So, ah, the drinking will have to wait. Oh, you never thought you'd hear the bush bee man say that, would you? But there you go. <laughs>